Today we're going to be talking about ProposalWorks, which allows you to build your own part numbers and helps you speed up the ordering process. Hi, my name is Donald Rimmer with Royal Industrial Solutions, part of the Industrial Solutions Network. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to simulate uh, two panels. One is going to be a soft start panel, the other is going to be an across the line panel. So first we're going to create panel A. We're going to click here for insert group. We're going to change the group heading to panel A. Now we need a soft start. So let's go up to the keyword filter search box and type the word soft. And down here we have a 150 SMC Flex Open Smart Motor Controller. So let's double click that to open it and this window will come up and it gives us a bunch of options to choose from. So let's just go through them one by one and build our soft start. For line voltage we know we have 480 volts coming in. Our connection type is line connected controller. Our horsepower we're going to leave blank and the reason for that is you should never ever choose a motor controller based off of horsepower. Choose it by the full load amp range or full load amp rating. And to find that, that will be on the motor nameplate on your motor. So whatever that is, uh, is what you will match to the amp rating on the soft start. So I'm going to come down here to controller rating and I'm going to choose 85 amps. And down here, I'm going to choose our control voltage, 100 to 240 VAC. And up here, you can see that we have a full and complete part number. So I'm going to choose accept. And there's our soft start. So next, I'm going to work on panel B. So I'm going to come up here again to insert group. And I'm going to change the group heading to panel B. Now, let's say uh, first order of business is I need a new three position selector switch. However, because it got broken off by a forklift or something, uh, part numbers are scratched off. All I've got are the first three numbers, which are 800. So I'm going to come down here to the catalog number filter. I'm going to type 800. Now I think I can see a T, so let's add a T as well. Now that narrows it down. Now I know I have a three position selector switch. So I'm going to come down here to three position knob wing lever. We're going to double click that and again this box opens up and gives us a bunch of selections. So I know that I'm not in a hazardous location. I don't need finger safeguards. My head type will be knob lever. My insert will be white. My operator function will be spring return from both. And now I'm going to choose my contact configuration. Now I want my selector switch to turn something on when I turn it to the right. So I'm going to click on the right hand box. I don't want anything else turning on when I hit, when I spring to the right. So these are going to be left open. Now I also want it to turn something on when I turn it to the left. And that's going to be like that. So now I have something turning on when I go to the right, and something when I go to the left. When it springs back to center, nothing is being turned on. And now I'm going to choose my, my contact block type, and I'm going to choose standard, and I'm going to click OK. There it is. So now I have my three position selector switch. Now, I also have a 509 BOD starter in my panel, uh, and I only need to choose, or I only need to replace the overload relay. So how do I do that? Well, I'm going to take, I'm going to punch in 509-BOD in this box up here, and I'm going to hit enter. Now it's going to pop up. Here's our 509-BOD. I'm going to open this up by double clicking, and under assembly, I'm going to click over here and then I'm going to change it to user assembled and it's going to get us a list of kitted components. Now I'm going to click accept. And now instead of it showing a 509 BOD starter, I've got the 500F BOD 930 
the contactor, and a 592 EUTB overload relay. So since we only need the overload relay, I'm going to copy this and paste it into the catalog number box up at the top and hit enter. Then, for simplicity's sake and to clean things up, I'm going to delete this part, the, the 509 BOD. Now, I have my three position selector switch and my overload relay. Now, now that I've created everything, I have my parts, now I need to send this to my boss for approval. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to generate documents and then I'm going to click Word. I want to turn this into a Word document and I'm going to click generate. Now down here, a Word icon has popped up and so I'm going to click on this. As you can see, here's our equipment list. It shows us our part number and then it gives us the vital information for each part number. Now our boss can make an informed decision about whether or not to let us spend money today. So I'm going to save this to my desktop. And I'm going to hit save. And there you have it. Thank you for watching How To Tuesday. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you found this information useful, please click like and subscribe. Thanks.